Hello, my name is Abdul Mati Asiri and I'd like to welcome in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. Uh, this video is number 10 in the series talking about the approach and landing of the Boeing 737 for new pilots. And uh, in this video, we'll start talking about the landing and in the next video in the series, we'll talk about crosswind landings. Uh, three main points I want to cover here in this video. The first one is the altitude that you need to cross the threshold at, which is 50 feet. So we want to hear the uh, 50 feet automatic call out as the airplane 50. crosses the, th the threshold. So that's going to be your target. If you uh, hear it a little bit earlier or a little bit later, it's not a big deal, but this is your target anyways uh, for uh, the approach. The uh, second point is the flare. So when to start the flare, and then we'll talk about 30. the uh, thrust reduction. 10. And finally, we'll talk about lowering the nose to the runway. So uh, with that said, Let's say that I heard 50 feet crossing the threshold and we are doing the approach. When to start the flare, as mentioned in the FCTM, about 20 uh, feet AGL is when you start the uh, flare maneuver. All you need for the flare is about 1 to 3 degrees, which attitude changes here in the uh, PFT, and that's all you need for touchdown. If you are new to the airplane, I suggest that you don't make a soft landing your target, but make a safe landing your target landing. And the safe landing is touchdown on speed on center line and in touchdown. That is a very safe uh, landing. Aiming for a smooth landing at the beginning of your career, while you are still uh, trying to understand the airplane, might result in the airplane floats on the runway or uh, flaring too early and then getting in into a situation where the tail gets too close to the uh, to the runway or being off center line or all of these things. So just aim for a firm landing at least at the beginning of your career just make sure that you do a safe landing that is on speed on center line and in touchdown so we said at 20 feet you start your flare after you start your flare then you start reducing the thrust uh, to idle to be at idle by the time that the airplane touched down the runway if you go to idle a little bit early let's say about 10 feet it's much better than you go idle after the airplane touchdown because if the uh, thrust is above idle, the speed brake will not deploy uh, automatically until you go to idle. So this is the first one. Start reducing the thrust at after you flare to be uh, close before or at touchdown. 30, 20, 10, 10. Now there are main two points which which are the obvious two two problems with new pilots which is either to flare too high or flare too low. Now getting used to approaching the runway at 800 feet per minute compared to a light airplane might feel uh, strange and the uh, new pilot will take some time to to get accustomed to the view of approaching the uh, the runway at this vertical speed and with this speed. So utilize the automatic GBWS callout, the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, to your advantage and make the best out of it. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. When you hear 50, consciously start preparing for the flare. Now I suggest you do it in two steps uh, if you are uh, completely new to the airplane. The first step is at 20, it's like you are pitching up by only one degree and then at 10 pitch with the other uh, degree or two degrees now why to do it uh, in two stages uh, because i have seen the the pilots tend to flare at 50 feet which is way too high even 30 feet is, is way too high so they flare and then they maintain the uh, thrust a little bit longer than required and we end up on a high pitch attitude before touchdown so you hear 50 feet consciously get ready for the flare at 20 it's like you are only changing the pitch attitude by one to two degrees and then at 10 you are changing the pitch again by one or two so if you do a uh, one degree at 20 then you do two degrees at 10 if you did two degrees at 20 then do only one degree at 10 and that change in the pitch attitude should be enough to reduce the vertical speed from 800 feet per minute to 200 feet per minute or even less now, 200 feet per minute touchdown is a firm landing, but still it's not a hard landing. And this is now the, the, the issue, the key for you is not 
to over rotate uh, let's say that you touch down or the airplane touch down with 200 feet per minute sink rate that is a very firm landing and because you feel the uh, the contact this is strong contact of the airplane with the runway you tend to over rotate and the airplane might go up on a second uh, touchdown which is uh, very dangerous so remember that you are aiming to adjust the pitch attitude by a total of three degrees and then once the main landing gear touch you don't want it to go off the runway again but the only thing you want to make sure that the nose will not touch down immediately for the main landing gear if you touch down with 500 feet per minute which is a very very firm landing it's going to be it's okay for the main landing gear it's not considered as a hard landing but if the nose will touch down immediately with this 500 feet per minute then uh, the uh, nose uh, wheel might need, be, might, might need to be inspected by maintenance so total change by 3 degrees 2 or 1 20 feet and the other 1 or 2 at 10 feet and then let the airplane touch down do not over rotate but just make sure that you apply enough pressure on the uh, control column to make sure that the nose does not go quickly or lower quickly into the runway so you want to lower the nose but under control to let it touch down uh, smoothly on the runway. So after you started your flare, the first one, that is the uh, 20, you start reducing the thrust. So continuous uh, thrust reduction to be at idle, as I said, between 10 and uh, touchdown. You don't want to go to close idle before 10 feet. And as I said earlier, you don't want to be above idle by the time that the main landing gear touched down. So those are the three points that I wanted to cover here. Again, you want to hear 50 feet crossing the threshold. If you are slightly above or slightly below, it's okay, but this is your target. So in the future, every time you do a landing, since you remind yourself that this is your target to cross the threshold at 50 feet, with time, you will start achieving this uh, goal better and better. The second thing, I suggest that you do the uh, flare and two stages at least at the beginning uh, the first one is at 20 and the second one at 10 and that is to avoid uh, over rotation or to touch down with with no flare resist the temptation to uh, flare at 50 feet even if you are on a high sink rate uh, you can break your your uh, sink rate if you are really really going fast by 30 but if you do it by 20 and if you go just the three degrees by 20 and then let the airplane touch down, that would be much, much better. So let the main uh, gear touch down. Do not attempt to over rotate after touchdown because you want to avoid uh, getting the airplane airborne again. And the second thing that you need to remember is just to lower the nose smoothly into the runway. Do not hold it in the air, but lower it smoothly. And you don't want to slam it on the runway as well. So after you start the flare at 20, start reducing the thrust to go to idle by touchdown or slightly above or slightly before touchdown but not after touchdown and then uh, you continue the uh, control of the airplane on the uh, runway as needed so that's it for the uh, normal uh, landing and as i said in the next video we'll talk about crosswind landings i hope that this video would be of some benefit to you if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know and until uh, next time I wish you a safe line and smooth landing. Thank you for watching. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10.